Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 10th to April 16, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, here we go. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right. <clears throat> Sagittarius, connecting to the energy of Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius in love for this week? What is Sagittarius' energy in regards to love for this week? Please show me. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Sagittarius, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little bit bad today. First card we have for you is the World card, Six of Swords to the King of Pentacles, at the bottom, Two of Wands, <clears throat> and the King of Wands. Oh, I like the fact that you're um you're showing up in the upright position. This is a, a card that represents Sagittarius energy with the Two of Wands. You're also showing up as the King of Pentacles, which is also nice. That's a very grounded energy, very stable energy. Um, some of you are feeling more grounded this week than other weeks. It does look like you are closing out some sort of cycle and you're heading in a new direction. Six of Swords, also with the Two of Wands. It looks like a transitional time period for you. Mm -hmm. It looks like you feel pretty good about it also. Like you know, you know that it's what's best for you. Some of you are traveling also. Or re or relocating. Whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like you know that it's the right thing for you. And I feel like you feel pretty good about it. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy spirit in regards to love for this week. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Three of Swords in the reverse three of cups and the ace of cups at the bottom we have the ace of wands and we have the six of cups oh. ace of wands six of cups hmm. seven of wands is here to the eight of swords all right so you're having a little bit of complications here or trouble or conflict with um, a specific person from your past, someone who you used to have a relationship with. Hmm. This might be someone who um, you walked away from or they walked away from you. It almost looks like you're trying to Have a, have a restart here with the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> or someone might be trying to start things over again with you. It 
It almost looks like someone wants to fight for this relationship with the Seven of Wands. Hmm. We'll see what else comes up. Tell me more about Sagittarius' energy in regards to love, Spirit. Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom, and a star. So someone is like hoping to have some sort of reconciliation with you, Sagittarius. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. It could be the other way. It could be the cross watcher. Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles and the Six, yeah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, someone definitely wants to, oh, look at what we have here. Seven of Wands, again, someone wants to fight to have, <clears throat> sorry, to have a reconciliation. Someone wants to fight for this relationship because they can sense that the other person is leaving, is walking away, is they're closing out this cycle. Like, I don't know if it's you or them, but just <clears throat> switch it up however it fits. Someone's leaving, someone's walking away, and the other person is trying to fight to have a reconciliation. Someone still sees the other person as their wish fulfillment. <clears throat> and they feel really sad with the Five of Cups to to have to live their life without the other person. Because it looks like there's history here. We did have the Six of Cups, so there's either there's history here um, or, you know, this is a soulmate connection. But the other person, it looks like they're pretty determined to... Um, close out this cycle with the world card. It looks like, especially with the King of Pentacles showing up here, like it looks like this person is pretty firm on their decision to, to not go backwards, to not go back to the past, to keep moving forward, to, to change directions. <clears throat> All right, let's see who... Um, who your person is, Sagittarius, and what their energy is. Is there something I want to keep here? Yes, I think I want to keep these cards. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, and again, this could be reversed let's see it could be the it could be reversed but i'm just going to call it um your person just so that i don't get confused what is sagittarius's person's energy for the week April 10 to April 16, 2023. What is their energy in regards to Sagittarius and whatever connection or relationship they have with Sagittarius? All right, here we go. Hmm. Somebody might be walking away because of a third party situation with the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Somebody might know that the other person had a third party or might have suspected it. Um, or just had reasonable doubt. All right. What is the energy of Sagittarius' person for the weak spirit? Thank you. Moon in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse and the three of pentacles. Again with the three. Temperance <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Again, three of Pentacles, third party situation showing up heavily. And again, with the Seven of Swords, there is some sort of um, sus 
suspicious energy there. Someone is suspicious of the other person. Hmm. You know, it's like they're doubting what they think they know about the other person. Like, do I really know this person or, or am I just fooling myself? Is, this, is there something this person is hiding from me? Because something is weird, something is off. Something is strange. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like that's what this person is saying here. Temperance and the Fool, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Mm. All right, so um, what is this Seven of Swords doing? Hold on, let me clarify that energy. I have no idea what this person is doing here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in reverse, Spirit. Let me just clarify. The Strength card in reverse could be a Leo you're connecting to and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. It looks like someone is like acting like they're walking away. They're not really walking away. Tell me more about Sagittarius' person for the week. Oh, there it is. Temperance, Six of Cups in Reverse, and the Three of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, someone is trying to heal. Someone is trying to heal from this relationship. Someone is trying to, like, um, leave the past in the past and, you know, um, start a new chapter for themselves. Hmm. But they keep looking over their shoulder. Tell me more about Sagittarius' person. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Wands at the bottom. Four of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Okay, I just feel like someone wants a second chance here for sure. Ace of Pentacles, someone wants a second chance. Okay, I got it. I feel like someone is trying to accept that the other person is walking away, but they're having a hard time doing that because they're so used to this person and they still have feelings for this person. And in reality, I feel like this person is, th is starting to realize that they don't actually want to accept this ending, that they still want to um, continue and they want to have a second chance. They feel unfinished business. They see the other person as, as their happiness. There's a soulmate connection here with the Two of Cups. Someone wants to get serious with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like the other person is already on their way out. Yeah, and I feel like there's a little bit of a question here or, or a little bit of a doubt in, in someone's mind as to why the other person is leaving them. Why is the other person walking away from them? Is it because they have someone else? Is it because there's a third party? You know, I feel like someone is asking themselves that. Interesting, because the moon is in reverse. But I actually, I actually feel like the moon is upright here. I'm feeling more. I'm feeling more the energy of that moon in the upright position than in the reverse. I feel like someone has doubts as to why the other person is leaving. Yeah, because I feel like someone feels like there's nothing wrong with this relationship. You know, with the sun and the two of cups and the three of cups. It's like someone feels like there's nothing wrong here. You know, like, what's the reason to break up, break apart this relationship? We're happy together or, you know, 
We're a perfect match. Uh, we belong together. And I don't feel like the other person agrees. The other person feels like, no, we're not happy, you know? This isn't, this isn't good, this isn't healthy. This isn't stable. We're not a perfect match. Hmm. So either someone is delusional here or you two are just not communicating with each other or you two are just not on the same page with each other or someone's delusional because this energy is very um, you know just um, very different from each other it's like a big contrast in energy between you and this person hmm. anyway I hope this made sense to you, Sagittarius. I'm gonna check, um, I'm gonna take some oracle cards, maybe that will help also to get some clarity here. Let's see what your person would like to say to you. What would this person like to say to Sagittarius spirit? What messages would this person like to say to Sagittarius, please? This is a brand new deck. Haven't used it much. It's called Divinely Guided Messages of Love. Let's see. What would this person like to say to Sagittarius? All right. We have hope. I haven't given up. I haven't given up on us yet. Oh, you see, I said that. I definitely picked up on that energy here in the reading. It says hope. I haven't given up on us yet. If you can see the the card. I haven't given up on us yet. Okay, someone hasn't given up on you, Tor um, Taurus. Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. I said that by accident. What else would this person like to say to Sagittarius? It says, soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. Yeah, so someone feels like you two are soulmates, like you two are divine counterparts like this relationship was meant to be and i feel like they still feel like it's something that's meant to be all right let's get one more what else would this person like to say to sagittarius spirit um it says mistakes i wish i could right my wrongs I wish I could right my wrongs. Okay, so someone feels like they made a lot of mistakes within this relationship and they're, they feel guilty. They want to make things right with you. They feel like you two could still, you know, be happy together. They feel like whatever issues you two have um, can be resolved, can be fixed. They don't feel like it's necessary to end the relationship or to part ways they feel like this still has hope there's still hope for this union hmm. all right Sagittarius I hope this reading made sense to you it didn't make sense to me I feel like it was a little scattered for some reason um but yeah I hope um it connected with you I am going to continue in the extended reading I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and also what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.